Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do the video that I promised I would do about the top five things that we've learned so far this season. And I'm gonna kick off this video with number one, which is really, really just important. The, that injuries matter. And that's what's happening to the New York Yankees. It's like, it happened to the Mets last season, the, the injuries, they then, I think the injuries just went on a subway from Queens to the Bronx, hit the Bronx and started hitting the Yankees because the Yankees have seven major leaguers in the 10-day injured list. I have to say that's just incredible. What an accomplishment, Yan Yankees. A round of applause. You broke the major league record, that's what I think. I I'm going to read them out to you. They have Dylan Betanza, Cece Zabasia, Luis Severino, Miguel Andujar, Troy Tulowitzki, Jacoby Ellsbury, Aaron Hicks, and Giancarlo Stanton in the 10 day injured, injured list. I mean, something has to be wrong. I mean, some of them got injured before the season started. Some of them, like Troy Tulowitzki, got injured today, but something has to be wrong. How, Yankees, how do you get seven players, major leaguers, some of them play in the everyday lineup? Injured. That's just an accomplishment. I mean, another round of applause. Yeah, I know. You, you break every single injured record like the Mets broke last year. Now, let's get to number two. And the number two is the Grom is the best ever, and no one can deny it. That's something no one can deny. I mean, Jacob the Grom. Let's just take a take back to last season where he won the Cy Young. And because he had a 1.70 ERA this year, yeah, chilling. Yeah, let's start the season. The season off with let he I've pitched 39, 39 innings, had 24 strikeouts, only two walks, and yeah, I've had zero runs allowed. Plus, I've had I've hit one homer for, uh, and I'm a pitcher. What? How do you start a season off that well? Only Jacob Degrom can do it. I mean, if you wanna, if you want a pitcher. To pitch game seven, who do you want? Jacob DeGrom. If you want someone to pitch a deciding game in the playoffs, who do you want? Jacob DeGrom. I mean, I am absolutely sure DeGrom's going to win the NL Cy Young unless the injuries go back to Queens from the Bronx. But, I mean, he's just insane. How do you start a season off that well? I mean, it's still young, but looking at his last year's scores and now this one's, I mean, I think... He, he's going to win Cy Young, I'm sure, and he, I, I think that he's going to have an even better year than he had last year. He's going to have at least ERA. He's just going to be amazing to watch, I'm sure. And so, yeah, that's what I think of Jacob DeGrom. Now, let's get to number three, which is really confusing. The AO divisions. How the heck are teams that are supposed to be last first and Teams that are supposed to be first, last in the in the standings. I understand it's still young this season, but like, look at this: the AL East. How do you have the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox in either first or second? I mean, you have the Yankees at third and Red Sox at fifth. How? 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 I mean, Tampa Bay's at first, Baltimore's at second, New York's at third. They are two games behind, two point five games behind, and Red Sox are at fifth. Toronto said fourth, but Red Sox are fifth. That's what really surprised, surprises me. I'm going to talk about that later in the video. But that's just insane for the Yankees or Red Sox in order to be in first. The Yankees have their excuse. A round of applause for them because of breaking the record for injuries. But, I mean, you're supposed to be number one. You signed James Paxton. You have every single player to be number one in New York. I know you're suffering a lot. You saw the Red Sox win last year. You thought it was your turn, but boom, injuries hit, and now you're number third in the division. You, I'm think you, I still think you're gonna get into the playoffs, but wake up, and Boston, you too. I mean, now in the Central, I mean, Cleveland's supposed to be number one, Minnesota's number one. They're gonna do the same thing they did in 2016, and then to 2017, they get, they go last in 2016. For, uh, they get to the wild card in 2017. That's just is, that's just weird. In, in the central, Cleveland's supposed to be number one, Minnesota's number one, Detroit number two, and, well, yeah, it's just weird, how do you have teams, like, Cleveland, why aren't you number one, why is, how, how are you almost, 
I, I, I can't speak. Let's get to the AOS. Seattle number. You're so Seattle. You're supposed to be losing. You started a rebuild. Why are you winning? You're, to, you're supposed to be one and seven, not seven and one. What's going on? Texas, four and two. I mean, Houston and Oakland are are supposed to be in those two spots. Oakland. So yeah, Oakland. We finally got to you. You've got six and four something. Yeah, you you're six and four. You have to be number two. Houston, you have to be number one. I mean, I understand the season's young, but how, how, how? Houston has a two and five. They are, they are the, the same thing. Hit them like the Red Sox. I mean, and Anaheim Angels here one and five. That's just what happens when you waste your money on Mike Trout. And yeah, Mike Trout, you're stuck there for the next twelve years. So have fun in the. If you get to one postseason game, be thankful, cause whoa, the angel. When you look at the Angels, you don't want to mess around with that team. If you're the Marlins, because th there's no way to, there's like, unless you're the Red Sox, because you're playing that bad, there's no way to be, to lose against the Anaheim Angels. So now, let's get to the number four. Bryce Harper is earning every single penny of his contract. I mean, his contract, he, he had a huge contract, $330 million, but look at this, I mean, he's, in only, you know, in only, he's had 16 at-bats, he's had 8 hits, 3 homers, and 5 RBIs. And he's motivating the Phillies, not only with his bat, but he's hyping them up. Like, you know, opening day, he started bowing to the fans, and in D.C., he did the same thing. I mean, he hyped everything up from the bat, he increases the tickets. I mean, this is an incredible signing by the, by the Phillies, because... I mean, Bryce Harper is going to pay off Philadelphia. Bryce Harper is going to earn you back every single penny with with ticket sales and jerseys. I mean, he's going to be insane for the next 30, 13 years. And number five, wake up, Red Sox. What are you doing? I mean, how do you start a season? Last year, you started the season 17-2. and two. This year, you're starting it. Two and I mean two and six. This this is just such a disappointment. Like, come on, wake up! I know you're the reigning World Series champs, but I mean, like, wake up! You don't have all season to wake up. You 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 get to Fenway. When you get to Fenway, I hope you wake up, cause disappointing. I mean, how do you see a team go from that high to that low? I mean, that's what happens. Well. Hope you like this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next week.